in the game. Saints 17, Miami nothing. Wide to the right goes Nat Moore. Mark Duper is set to the left side. Marino trying to rally Miami. This looks like blitz. Nine guys at the line of scrimmage. And they beat the blitz and get the touchdown to Mark Duper. A beautiful call on Marino's part. The blitz was coming. And on the board with 6.16 to go, the Dolphins. Now that's an audible at the line of scrimmage. He sees all nine guys up there. Duper just gets inside Johnny Poe. One of the few mistakes Johnny Poe has made all day. The idea of that defense is if you're a cornerback, don't let that man in the middle. That's where our defense is vulnerable. Good call, good call by Mike. The humidity was 85%, and the temperature was 83, and uh, it should work to the advantage of the Dolphins working out in it. Third down five. Deep. He's open. open. He's there. 30-yard line, 20. It's Duper. Duper into the end zone. 63 yards. And Marino is running 63 yards to meet him. Did that the first long touchdown and pass I threw? I think I ran the length of the field and said, Way to go! Mm. There's a pass, the two wide receivers are running deep. He has the option if they're man coverage. Here we talked about the fact that Rome's is out of the ball game. Chris Williams trying to cover him. Steps into the end zone. They won't catch Mark Duper. He has run an official 10 21 on the right side. Second down goal to go. Bootleg. He wants to throw. In the clear. Has a man. Touchdown. Nat Moore. Seventy-seven yard drive. Let's we'll take another look at it. Play action. Second down. This is the time you got to do it. Marino avoiding Kilson getting outside the pocket. Could either run or pass the ball. And Nat Moore makes a good catch. Marino's going to make some big plays for you, just as we've seen. He's going to make some rookie mistakes. You can live with them if he can make your big plays for you. 28-27. Levin Shaman will be kicked. Or score the touchdown, but really take some time off the clock. Duper has five receptions, 159 yards, and two touchdowns. This is Mark Clayton with his touchdown. And Miami Lee. That is Clayton's first NFL touchdown. We've had a lot of firsts today. And Clayton joins the party. There's a happy man, Don Shula. Shula set this play in. It's a critical situation in the game. But he says, Marino, you're my man. I'm going to let you throw it in this situation. Puts the ball on the money, low and inside. The only place it can be thrown. Is there any doubt that Marino has stepped in as the number one quarterback for the Miami Dolphins? No doubt at all. 306 left to go. A lot of time remaining. of that jet defensive line and if they can hammer up the middle they can force the jets to do some things they don't want to do so far they're not getting much wide open is Ned Moore and he's on the go the 20 the 10 touchdown Miami 66 yards Marino to Moore down in a hurry as the veteran Nat Moore able to find a little opening and Marino just rifling that ball to him. Moore is just going to sneak in behind Bobby Jackson. Safety's coming over but he just flat out runs Kenny Shroy right there and it's Bobby Jackson coming from behind number 40 and gathering ground on him but unable to catch him before he waltzed into the end zone. A goal try or go for it all. Inside the 25. Out of the shotgun, Marino trying to add to the 13-7 Miami lead. Down the middle, Rose, touchdown! Joe Rose! And that was a 30-yard bullet. That ball was five feet off the 
ground right to number 80, right to the two numerals. Shades of some of the strong arm quarterbacks we've seen come into the league. All of Terry Bradshaw, Roman Gabriel, and Marino throws a hot strike down the middle. Second touchdown of the ball game. Marino without an interception in this game has had a fine Bob ball game. Kick. Stop the hole. And starting to put things back together. Here it's 23-7 Miami. Second and goal. Marino, touchdown. Another great throw this time to Dan Johnson, the tight end. His third touchdown catch of the year. And Marino has been flawless. And you begin to feel the frustration of the Jets. Daryl Ray, number 28, after the play was over, absolutely kicking the end marker out of the out of its place on the ground. Let's take another close look at, at Marino. Again, throwing off balance and throwing on the way back. That'll get him in trouble eventually. And Daryl Ray, we didn't see him there, just walked over and kicked that marker right up out of the ground. Dan Johnson up. to play in the opening period. Here we have it. You know, it looks like Glasgow, Barry Krause, and Johnny Cook were all looking at each other there as Nat Moore just ran a little slant in pattern. And it is Washington over Detroit 28 to 3. That game now early in the third period. Kansas City has taken a 10-7 lead over Houston. And it is Chicago over the Philadelphia Eagles. 7 to nothing. And 7 hit Dennis McKinnon from 20 yards. least penalized that you win more does it no there's no correlation between them some of the most winning teams were the most penalized teams. and I think Houston isn't it the third least penalized right third down 13 Marino who can move floats it for Duper touchdown Mark Duper Touchdown reception number six for the young Dolphin receiver. And how about that throw by Marino on the move to his right? And he put it where it had to be. 46 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins reclaimed the lead at 13 to 7. This was beautiful. He's isolated now in a nickel defense one on one. See him now sticking right there. And now he's heading for the post. There is no safety. You'll notice there's no defender there. Bonnie Jackson can't run with him. Nobody can run with this guy. He can fly. And he's got hands, a track man with hands. You don't find that too often. He was the second round. Think of his name. Ricky Churchman. Rick. Oh, are you sure? Of course, you're from Texas. <laughs> second and goal from the four. Marino over street. Touchdown. Dolphins 
Bucks have taken charge. They lead it 30 to 14 with 12 minutes and four seconds to go, and David Overstreet paying his first dividend. Now Miami. watch the quarterback. The reason this is open, the quarterback makes the fullback fake and gets the linebacker who's supposed to cover it, freezes him just enough to get him the step to go ahead and get himself in the end zone. That running play fake. Who can throw it? He's got deep speed with Duper. He's got power up the middle. And of course, he's got Nathan outside. Well, that's good news for Miami Dolphin fans. New England beating Buffalo 21 to 7. The Bills were tied with Miami at the start of today's play. So a victory by Miami would give them sole possession of first place in that tight AFC Eastern race. Second and five. Going for six. Wide open is Nat Four Touchdown. The veteran Moore almost led too far. Marino kissed as he threw the ball, and he hits his veteran receiver a 24-yard score. Marino continues to amaze, and Nat Moore, who's really become more of a control receiver, found some openings on the right-hand side and breaks away from number 42, Ronnie Lott. Marino looking almost all the way at Moore on that play, away briefly, but watch this great catch by Moore, right off the fingertips, controlled it, the, the official right on top of him, keeping an eye on him to make sure he did indeed have control of that foot. A gain of five, as Marino going without a huddle, 122 left in the half. You remember that Marino called the timeout a few moments ago, they may wish they hadn't as they try to go on a hurry up offense and beat the clock, 115 and counting down. Clayton to the left, Duper to the right. Down the middle, touchdown, Nat Moore. He's two for two. Find the open receiver, get him the ball. What a great pass. Dwight Hicks and Carlton Williams and or Car Carlton Williams and the men who are defending on that play, but great protection here. You'll see Dean come in from the left side of your screen, and Marino just ducks to the side and gets away from him. That's the kind of movement a good quarterback has to have, and look at that strike. Saw the open man, and within just a fraction of a second, that ball was on its way and a perfect strike. That's, that's the kind of thing that has earned Marino such great respect from not only his own coach, but other coaches around the league. He has the strength and size to break away from Dean. Smaller quarterbacks might have gone down there. Then it spots the open man. It wasn't a perfect spiral, but the ball was there so quickly, and Moore has his second touchdown. Kicking game, very important. You talked about that with the special teams at the top of the show. It's very important, and Baltimore would have had good field position had not that interception not been allowed. Third down and 16. Miami has converted two of five. Third down opportunity. Reno from the shotgun. As all the time in the world goes deep. Duper is there, has it. The speedster, he'll break it. He looks back. Is there a flag? No. We look back. Is there a flag? No. 85 yards. Marino to Duper. The headlines will read. The excitement is back in Miami. Big play, people. Dan Marino, Mark Duper. Here's the offensive line. This is a little rollout to give the quarterback more time. 57, Stevenson. Marino looks to his right to pull up the defensive secondary. Duper comes all the way over from the left, gets behind him with that speed. He can got that time to do it. Anderson's not going to catch him. Big play, people, for the Miami Dolphins. Something they haven't had in the last three or four ball games. Duper, three receptions, 108 yards, one touchdown, 36-yard average. Six and six. You got two plays to run this in, Charlie. They're not going to kick a field goal, being up 24 to nothing. Nathan over the top. Quarterback stick, it's there. I think he fumbled the football. All that, all that has to happen is for the football, the nose of the football, to break the play. And soon as that happens, the plane of the goal line, like an invisible shield, and it's automatic. Reno does score. It is now 30 to nothing. This is this is a close play right here. I never understood why quarterbacks feel like they should be running backs and jump over the pile, especially when you leave yourself wide open. As you see, Burroughs, 45, will take another look at it. Barely got in, I guess, before he did fumble, but it wasn't long. 
to leave your quarterback hanging up there where you can have a defensive when he was with you on the Giants right I didn't think anybody ever did and we were afraid to play Rosie second down goal to go Woody Bennett in in relief of Andre Franklin and Marino's back and Marino spins out of trouble and fires oh. Duper, and Duper takes it in the end zone. All oh, right. Eight touchdown of the year. <laughs> Would you believe a rookie quarterback executing that play? Uh, that was really... I uh, thought he was going to run. And this young man, he got his start eight weeks ago when Dan Marino did, when they bet Gurriel Harris. A combination of youngsters scores for Miami. He's going to get a lot of, lot of pressure. Number one, you got Ross Browners in there. That's just a terrific... I hate to say it, just athletic move. The ball was thrown a little bit behind Duper. He made a good move down there, didn't he? Catch that ball. That's why I said at the top of the telecast, he doesn't panic. They're back on the track, however. They won four of their last five games. They have the people out there that took them to the Super Bowl with a 12-4 and record in 1981. And the Dolphins, of course, they were in the Super Bowl last year. On second and eight. Oh, oh, oh. Good defensive play. Closing down hard. And Reggie, Mc, Reggie Williams seemed like they forgot to block on Reggie that time. Reggie says, don't do that. At least pay some attention to me. Very cerebral player, Reggie Williams. He reads plays so quickly. And playing on that weak side, he is free so many times that he makes the stop. Young man from Dartmouth College. And boy, what a physical regimen he put himself through in the offseason. Building up his body. What a participant he is in the community. See, I've never seen anybody on more charity board and the shotgun third down and seven marino wide open in the end zone all right it is duper his second touchdown of the night it looks and his ninth of the season larry breeden number 34 just was faked completely out and down on the on the field he may have even hurt himself he got turned around so bad he could have hurt himself just look at marino here That's moving good. up in the pocket the way he kept his boy and then the rope to Duper. See Breeden down over there on the other side. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Man to man coverage. <laughs> he tried to hold him and then tripped over Mark Duper's feet. Duper. The game will be doing Thursday night in San Diego. But in the meantime, only four teams are out of the race mathematics Houston, Tampa Bay, the Giants, and Philadelphia. And there's a whole bunch of them are six and seven. <laughs> Second down, goal to go. Marino got a great shot into the end zone. He hit Dan Johnson, who was covered about as well as you're going to cover him back there. Well, he didn't. He wound that one up and fired it, didn't he? <laughs> we spotted Dan Johnson in the Miami Washington preseason. Remember? Uh, Howard, he had to catch that out of self defense. Well, he hit him right in the chest with it. A little fake. Play action pass, takes off to Nathan, got some time. Wow, what a tip. And you know what? He didn't really wind up and throw that with his body. That was more with his arm. He was almost like off balance. We'll see it again. Good, good line play by Miami's offensive line. Jim LeClaire is back there. He couldn't believe it, I don't think. He's he has great position. Yeah. He zipped that one in there. Backs are split, so are the receivers. One tight end. Here's Marino. Quick drop. Throws a slant in. Caught by Moore. 15. Through the 10. 5. Touchdown for the Dolphins. And there are no flags. Matt Moore really turned it on, Rick. He split the coverage as he ran that slant. Marino's an excellent slant passer. If anything's going to bring Marino back in the ballgame, it's that pattern. And Moore split the coverage and then accelerated and beat the two men into the end zone. Matt showing that old quickness. Willie Tullis was the man beaten on the play. And I look around over my right shoulder. You know why we just scored. Our good friend, <laughs> Father Don Walk, has just come into the booth and said something to the man upstairs. Where's he been all day? <laughs> it's 17 to 16. That'll do it every time. All right, Strzok will hold. Von Chaman can tie it up for the first time. A pass early of the season for a touchdown. So Don Shula going to the gadget book. More conventional style. Johnson, touchdown! Touchdown, pass play, 
Johnson in his second season out of Iowa State on the hookup with Dan Marino. Barb watched the block by 89, Nat Moore at the end of this play. Johnson out in the flat by himself to the right of the screen. Bam, just get the pass. Let's count some defensive backs. That's two, three, that's five, seven defensive backs, Marv. And the Dolphins double tight end Joe Rose joining Dan Johnson out of the shotgun. Marino throwing for Cooper. Oh! An extraordinary catch by Mark Cooper. defensive backs Dave Brown single coverage this is 4-3 speed and Brown can't cover him any better what a catch great concentration on the football that's his 11th touchdown